Hey everyone, so as much as Task Magic is trying to update selectors for you and always find the correct selectors for you and whatever else we can do to re-identify whatever you did um, during your recording, there are the occasional times when you need to update those selectors. So we gave you a really, way, a really easy way to do that is you can go ahead and right click on the step you wanna update and then update selectors. And this is gonna open all of the previous ones we've identified and that have been possible. And it's gonna also allow you to add new ones. So in rare circumstances, you can delete these, but most of the time, Task Magic should remove any bad ones for you. Um, but if you are certain that it's wrong, feel free to remove it. Anyways, what we can do is, is if I wanna update the selector for this username step, this is where I typed the username, I can go ahead and click update selectors again. I'm gonna go here in my normal Chrome browser, and then I can right click on whatever I was doing during the automation and I can go ahead and it might not open right to the element for you. If it does, awesome, feel free to skip the next 10 seconds. If it doesn't, you're gonna to wanna to click this icon in the top left, you'll see it highlight blue, and then you can trace over what you were trying to type into or click. You'll see that it highlights really similar to the way we do during recording, except we do a border where that colors the entire thing. So after you click that, it's gonna highlight something on the right here. You can go ahead and right click on this, and then there's three different options to choose from. You can either copy selector, copy XPath, or copy full XPath. Most of the time, just do copy selector or copy XPath, but if you're continuously seeing it fail, go ahead and try adding in the copy full XPath as well. So what you're gonna do is just go ahead and click one of them. In this case, I did copy selector. I'm gonna go back to the Task Magic app and then I can add a selector and paste this here. And that's gonna be the way we can update it in case Task Magic didn't automatically find a new one for you. Now, next time this runs, it's gonna re-identify new selectors as well as this one and try to build this list as perfect as it can to always have something to find for you. Now. If you know how to come up with your own selectors or you know how to um, build your own puppeteer expressions, you can also add those here um, in this selector space to help find the element or help guarantee that we're gonna find that during the automation. The other thing you can always do is go ahead and click the plus and then continue recording. And then you can just re-record that step. So for example, if I wanna open um, Instagram.com, this might automatically log me in, so I might need to log out. Yeah. So let's go ahead and log out so that we can re-record the login step. Then what I can do is, is this one, I can just go ahead and delete this step and then add step, record and type. And then I can just re-record um, this one. Now, one thing I'm noticing after I already did this and I don't wanna remake this video because you guys will see the difference is notice that when I logged out of Instagram, it took me to a different login page than what it normally would take me to if I went to Instagram.com. So what I, eh, I'll do it right, here we go. I'll cancel this and then let's go to Instagram.com where it normally is gonna log in and now we can re-record the right step. So we'll click add step, record, if you get this, it just means the page hadn't loaded yet. You can either click back or you can just click type again and it should let you. But anyways, here we are. I'll re-record this, type my username, and this is going to update all of those selectors. So if we needed to, we can delete it and re-add it or we can add selectors to it if we didn't wanna delete the entire thing. So two different ways making it really easy to continuously update your automation. Again, Task Magic is doing this behind the scenes as well. But if it hasn't caught up there, or if it hasn't found this, or if it didn't work in this situation, this is a way for you to manually intervene and help with it.